Hello, pretty family. We are so excited to introduce our new AI Portrait Pro collection. This collection utilizes Lightroom's AI technology and includes 108 AI presets that will speed up your Lightroom workflow in a tremendous way. With one click, you can apply a targeted edit to your subject or background where previously you had to apply that targeted adjustment by hand using brushes or filters. To install these presets, we're gonna follow the same steps that we follow for all other Lightroom presets. We're gonna start by opening Lightroom or Lightroom Classic and go up to File, Import Develop Profiles and Presets if you're in Lightroom Classic, or if you are in Lightroom, go to File, Import Profiles and Presets. Once you click, a window will open that allows you to navigate to the zipped folder or folder that you downloaded just highlight the zipped folder or folder and click import and the presets will be installed. Once your presets are installed in Lightroom, you'll find them over on the right hand side, click the interlocking circles. In Lightroom Classic, you'll find them on the left hand side in the presets panel. Now let's get straight into editing. The presets that you've installed are gonna be over here on the left hand side in the presets panel. And there's going to be several different folders of presets over here. There's going to be the bonus one-click magic folder, a folder for eyes, hair, mouth, scene, and skin. So let's come up here and let's start with the eyes. Let's choose this portrait. Let's start over here. And towards the bottom, there's going to be a preset called eyes, one-click clean eyes. And I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to turn it down just a little bit because I think it's maybe a tiny bit too much. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on scene. Now there's a couple of these that I would like to add to the background. So I am going to click on fall colors and add that to the background. And I love what that does. I love how that warms things up. So I'm just going to leave that just how it is. And I'm going to come down here and choose backlight golden hour. And I'm going to just turn this one down slightly. I love what it does. I just want it to be a little bit less. Then the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go down to the skin. And this one has the subject and skin presets all bundled together. So we're going to come down here. We're going to choose subject exposure brighten. Let's not do subject face. Let's do the whole subject. So subject exposure brighten. I'm going to turn that down a little bit just to make sure that we're not getting her too bright there. And then I'm gonna come down here to the skin smoothing. Now we have skin smoothing face where you can smooth just the skin on the face. We have skin smoothing all where you can smooth all the skin of the subject. For this one, I'm gonna choose skin smoothing all and I'm gonna to go to skin retouch pro. Now you'll notice we have retouching here for dark skin and light skin, but this skin retouching pro is fantastic. This preset separates out the luminous channels to the light and the dark, and it applies smoothing to each channel separately. There's going to be three masks that pop up when I apply this, and you will use the amount slider on the left to adjust the overall effect. If you want the effect of just one of the layers, then you can come over here into the masking panel, and you can choose one of these, and you can affect just that one layer of the preset, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna come over here, and over here is where I'm gonna adjust the amount over here on the left, and I'm actually gonna pull this up just a little bit. I want a little bit more, maybe to 150, somewhere around there, and that's gonna apply just a little bit more smoothing to her skin. Now, if I'm gonna click on the before and after so that you can see what this looks like, and you can see all the beautiful edits that we've done just using these AI presets. Now, in addition to this, you can still apply any of your regular presets that you like on top of this, or you can do the opposite. You can apply the preset first and then use these AI presets. They can be used in any combination that makes sense to you. Now let's pull up another image here. We're gonna choose this one. This one, we're gonna look at these one-click magic presets at the top. There's one for clean portrait, there's color portrait, color pop portrait, fall portrait, golden hour portrait, light and airy portrait, moody cool portrait, 
and moody warm portrait. You can see the changes that these presets make as I hover over them. And I'm gonna suggest that you will want to hover over these before applying. The reason is that these utilize many different masks, sometimes 14 or more masks. If you just start clicking through them, your portrait's gonna to start to look a little funky because the filters aren't all going to overwrite one another. So I would hover over these before applying any of them. For this one, um, I would like to choose this ColourPop portrait. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna come over here and show you all of these masks that were applied just with one click. Then I'm gonna go down to the Scene presets. I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna choose Scene Background, Exposure Brighten. I wanna brighten up the background just a little bit, but I'm gonna turn this down. And you'll notice that I'm gonna adjust this main amount slider as I go through and apply each one of these presets. Now, if I want to adjust this later, I can always go over here and figure out the mask that I just applied and always adjust it later on if I want to do it over here. But I'm gonna adjust these as I go. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna choose Scene Background, Contrast High, and I'm gonna click on that one. And then I'm going to pull this down just a little bit. And just with a couple of clicks, I've gotten such a beautiful edit here. Now for this last edit, we're gonna do a little bit more adjusting. So I'm gonna zoom in here quite a bit so we can see the skin of this portrait. So here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna choose my healing or cloning tool. I'm gonna leave it on heal for now. And I'm gonna come over here and edit just the blemishes that I can see. And I'm gonna do this first because I would like to apply some skin smoothing to this portrait. But before I do that, I need to edit out any of the main visible acne that we've got here. And I think we're about good. We're gonna call that good. Okay, then I'm gonna come over here and I'm still in the scene, so let's go over to the skin and we're gonna pull down and I am going to do Skin Smoothing All and I'm gonna choose the Skin Retouch Pro. I love this preset, I think it's fantastic. So I'm gonna click on it and then I am going to come up here to the amount slider and I'm going to turn it up because I want a little bit more of this Skin Smoothing. And while I'm here, I just want to click on the before and after so you can see what a lovely job this does of smoothing the skin and still allowing the skin to look very realistic, to still have some skin texture left, but just does a beautiful smoothing to this portrait. Then the other things that I'm going to do, I'm going to go back up to the eyes and I'm going to choose the same one that I did before, the one click clean eyes but I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit because I don't want that full amount on this portrait. Maybe something around there. And let's do a couple of edits on the background. So I'm gonna do color desaturate, and then I'm gonna turn this one down. And then I'm gonna do brighten, background brighten, and I'm gonna turn this one down. And then I'm gonna do um, contrast low and I'm just gonna leave that one of that. And now you can see this beautiful before and after that we've got here. The skin is just perfectly smooth in my opinion. I love this. And it's just such a nice light and airy edit. This collection is compatible with Lightroom and Lightroom Classic and Adobe Camera Raw. If you're a Creative Cloud subscriber, when you install these in Lightroom, they will automatically sync to Lightroom Mobile. And when you install them in Lightroom Classic, they will sync to Adobe Camera Raw. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this preview of the new AI Portrait Pro Collection. 